I'm sorry. That's booby. And that's not ghosty? booby. That's ghosty. No, booby's right here. Booby's lost. As usual, on the floor. There's booby. So this is our first uh, official video after our maternity leave. You guys didn't notice that we were gone because I noticed some people were saying, "Have you guys had the baby yet?" or are you close to having the baby? I was like, oh, some people don't know we already had the baby. The baby's actually almost five weeks old <laughs> now. So we are, um, yeah, we're coming back. So this is our, this is our comeback song. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a band that we uh, met via social media. The, <laughs> the, uh, you know, in every band there's always like one guy who does all the media and yep. strategy stuff. This guy is aggressive as hell. You have to have one of those people. You have to. He it's, worked Vin on this one. It's Andy from <laughs> uh, Thy Otter's Murder yep. is, is the guy on that group. And um, we know a couple of those guys from those bands. But this guy, I'm pretty sure his name is Daniel. He's that guy for this band, and they should be very grateful. Listen, whatever, whatever this guy wants for this band, Borders, you should listen to him. I'm just saying that way. <laughs> Um, he's, he's, he's a very intrepid guy. Sometimes when people like get really bold and crazy with me, like I, I admire it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no, it's, it's like, true. It's like, all right, well, good for you. Uh, you said you did what? <laughs> yeah, but this is, this is a band that, um, I'm actually pretty excited to listen to because this dude did a lot of work to get us to, <laughs> to get us to <laughs> review. I mean. Good for you. Like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good for them. If you want to know how to get your band and song reviewed, email us at uh, vinitsori at gmail.com. Um, but these guys just had a record come out, uh, May 2019, pretty recently. And this is a track 731. So um, I am pretty, pretty excited to hear what these guys have to say. I actually... We've been talking for a while. I sent him a... Uh, Picture of Orion. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're signed to Long Branch Records. I've never heard of Long Branch Records. No, me neither. Um, the name of the record is Purify. It's an album about human corruption. Oh. The album follows a timeline. 731 is the first song on the album, and it's about Unit 731. Um, so there you go. So this should be interesting. I don't know um, what Unit 30, 731 is, though. Well, I, I'm sure it's, a, it's probably a concept record about human corruption, so... Oh, that's um, not something that, like, everybody knows, like, oh, Unit 731 is blah, blah, blah. Yeah, This is yeah. something they came up with on their... Th okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No wonder I didn't know what it was. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's that's what's going on. So, okay. uh, these guys were... Yeah, I was I was getting emails from these dudes while we were in the hospital having Orion. And he's like, did you forget about me? I'm like, just had a kid, you brat. <laughs> I sent him a picture of uh, Oreo. So, there you go. All right, let's go. And go.
Yes! I am such a fan and I don't know if it's because we've been away from listening to reviews for a while or if I just really like this song, but... <laughs> I really, really liked it. If, uh, uh, speaking of which, if you want your video done, Loki Films, Loki, Loki Films just did this one, so there you are. They didn't get any credit in the email you sent me, Daniel, but <laughs> they deserve it. Gritty bastard. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Can you pull those lyrics back up? <clears throat> it, it, yeah. It, so, Unit 731 is probably, like, some, um, don't forget to put all these socials in there, Facebook, mm -hmm. Instagram, all. Unit 731 is, is, is probably, like, some dystopian, it, it's probably some, you know, well, human it's experimentation. Well, it's rebirth. Yeah, it's like a human experimentation facility, I guess, in some dystopian near uh -huh. future. You know what I mean? And then the name of the record is Purify, which, you know, kind of goes along with that theme. Yeah, right, where the Nazis were trying to mm -hmm. purify and have yeah. a master race and, you know, and, you know, the Nazis would experiment on people. Right. Right, so, like, yeah, I'm assuming that this is sort of like a group of Nazis or Neo-Aryans or whatever, you know, kidnaps this guy and mm -hmm. he's one of the people who are getting experimented on because he says... Frozen, torn, burned by the devil's doctors, mm -hmm. which is some of the experiments that happen in, in the Ugh. concentration camps. In this hypocrisy, they're all stopping me. They're all stopping me from being who I want to be. I want to survive and look you dead in the eyes. Face your war crimes, part of the master plan, testing human lifespan. How do we reason with the mind of a madman? Yeah. Those are good lines. Yeah. Those are good lines. It's how I feel when I, when I think about uh, abortion. Because it's like at some level, it's like, how can you reason with people? I've had oh, people, oh, I've had people yeah. tell me, oh, I know it's a baby. Like there was yeah. that lady from Ireland who basically said it's violence, but the 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 child is enforcing forced gestational labor, and the child is committing an act of violence. No. And so no. yeah, yeah. And so she said, well, of course, abortion is killing, but it's a form of violence to to counteract the the forced gestational labor that the fetus oh is imposing gosh. on. How do you reason with a person like that? And if you see the video, oh she she believes that she's, you know, being rational and very, you know, it's oh the same gosh. the same thing with slavery where, you know, you have uh, people uh, were talking about, well, the Negroes like being slaves. Right, and they, yeah. You know, yeah. da 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 and, and, you know, it, it just so happens that if you beat a guy within an inch of his life and ask him if he likes being a slave, he's probably going to say yes. Mm -hmm. But, like, the, you come to a point where, at some point, you can't reason with people once they have dehumanized a segment yeah. of the population to a yeah. certain degree. Like, yep. it becomes impossible to reason with those people. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, gestational labor is a form of violence. I didn't know this. And so she's got to get because she has to admit. So that rather it's than killing. going, she should go on a rampage. It should be like we should have forced C sections because right. that would that would avoid the uh, right so the, the violence of the delivery. Right. No, let's just right kill the child. Right. But but then when you have this, if you have the ideology that human beings are just animals and that's all that we are. Mm -hmm. Notice I said just and all. Mm -hmm. That's nuance. Don't message me and say, don't you believe in science? I'm saying that we're more than that. But if you don't think that we are, then, you know, then it's just a matter of opinion as to whether or not you can experiment on another human being. So, <laughs> you know, these guys, the, you know, the Nazis obviously were the worst example of it where you have a segment of the population that were deemed untermenschen, that yeah. were deemed subhuman. Right. And uh, then, you know, it's open season. You can kill them, you can experiment on them, you can do whatever you'd like. Um, all for the greater good. You know, we've got... It's crazy because he says testing human lifespan. Right. So you can't say that they're not human or, or less than human if you're using them to be able to test for the human lifespan, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, the people... I always say, like, most people are not sociopaths. Most people are just influenced by a small cadre of sociopaths that yeah. they get into power. So there's a small cadre of sociopaths that that were there during Nazi Germany that mm -hmm. took advantage of the the anger and hate and the pain that the people were feeling at the time. Right. And then, you know, went crazy with it. But you, you can kind of see 
you know, when he talks about, <clears throat> for, he said some, some, there was some sort of allusion to the uh, um, final solution or whatever, which, which again was, you know, the, the code for, um, you know, what they were doing to these, mm. to these um, people. But good Lord, uh, if you're talking about man's inhumanity to man, there you go. Mm. Um, part of the master plan, I think, is what it was. Face your war crimes. <laughs> and the Nazis used to do these horrible things to see how long can you last in hypothermia? How long can you last with, you know, being burned alive? Like, they just horrible, horrible. Break every bone in your body and, you know, just crazy. How long does it take you to drown? Like, really, really, really crazy stuff that they, that they were doing. That once you cross that line of dehumanization, then, you know, Honestly, you're not going to agree with me, but I feel like at that point, if you're participating in that, you're so far from the image of God that you're the one that's not human anymore. Like, yes, on a technical level, they're still human, but you've stripped from yourself, like, what should make you human? And you've made yourself a monster. How could you break every bone in another human being's body and then just sit there and watch them? I just think that's horrible. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to disagree with you because I think it's dangerous to say that you you become, you lose the image of God. I think no matter how horrible and nasty the person is, that that's, that's a play that only God can make. Because the minute you go there, then you're opening up the door to a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, so, and, you know, I think, I think anybody can be redeemed, but we're living in a culture right now that's doing, that, that does this. So, I mean, how can you... You, you know wow. I, I think, okay <clears throat> look I don't obviously don't agree with abortion and I think tearing a child limb from limb is horrible but it's the amount of time that it takes to do that and the amount of time that it was taking for these other people to die yeah I don't really like I feel like it takes more psychosis to sit there and watch somebody oh, Dr. Hearn over there in Colorado Ooh. Dr. Hearn go what to drhearn.com he'll tell you about third tribe killing kids eight nine months in utero because of Down syndrome and all the other stuff that there's no gestational limits for abortions over there. Mm -hmm. So like that guy's killing eight, nine month old kids. Like that's not, oh my gosh. I mean, so, I mean, even the most radical oh pro abortion person is going to say, whoa, 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 wait a second. Matter of fact, most of the pro abortion people I talk to refuse to believe that we can even that do that. that. That's even happening. Yeah. yeah. They'll say, no, 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 the mother's life has to be in right. danger. Right. And the reason they're doing that is because they're not sociopathic. They right. can't, they don't. They don't want to contend with. They don't want to mm -hmm. say that that's happening in their country. Right. Like so, they want to say no. You're. You well, know. plus they want to continue being pro-choice. And if you want to be pro-choice, then you have to be pro-choice. Well, yeah, but nobody nobody wants to believe that they live in a country you do that to kids. Yeah. You know, everybody wants to believe that oh, you're just removing some cells. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's like your average citizen, when confronted with this, has the cognitive dissonance, yeah. and, and it's the same thing that happens. There's a lot of deni there was a lot of denialism that went on with the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. You know, people were like, oh, well, what happened to your neighbor? You didn't, you know, I, I've got people to this day that, you know, like anytime we do a Ronstein song, the Holocaust comes up. People always, Didn't they always they? say, well, well, I mean, they, they didn't know. It's like. I don't know, Mr. Higglebaum, your next door neighbor, the SF soldiers just showed up at the house and now they're gone forever. Right. right. Completely vacated. And you 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 had no idea what yeah. was going on. I'm not saying that the German people should have led like a, you know, an armed revolt into Auschwitz or something like that. I'm not saying that. I'm not holding them to that standard. I'm just simply saying that atrocities like that happen in societies because there has to be some complicity mm. in in regards to the common oh, yeah. citizenry and a lot of us and we see this with the kids all the time is we construct these plausible deniability scenarios so that we can deny what's happening I mean look <laughs> I mean there, there's been some pretty dark evil stuff I mean if yeah. you think about was it Operation Paperclip we took a bunch of Nazis and had mm -hmm. a, you know we kidnapped them one of them was in the Hague about yep. to get you know the uh, yeah because we wanted the knowledge they had yeah. uh, garbage well, they had done well the, because they were they yeah. didn't have any limits to what they were going to do in the name of science yeah they were you know besides that the germans were beyond everybody yeah you know it, it's almost it's really a sad thing when i think about germany because they're 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 obviously especially gifted people obviously 
they're they're not a large, massive, massive, massive country like we we are currently. Mm -hmm. But they they produce some of the most brilliant, influential people um, in the Western world in the last three hundred years, and it, it kind of makes you be like, man, like what? If you just <laughs> turn that in the right direction, right, right. If what we, good, you know, maybe they would have. You know, we'd have a cure for cancer. Well, that's what I mean, right? Yeah, right. Like the Germans, like I, everybody is created equal. I believe. See, that's the crazy thing is that I believe everybody is created equal, but I also believe that some people are 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 just especially gifted, and I mm -hmm. think that. Well, yeah. God has obviously gifted those people, especially at that time, with um, some pretty pretty high intelligence, I think, and some ingenuity and. You know, it just it just went the wrong way in that particular episode mm -hmm. of history. But um, but so it's like, okay, what if this happened again? And I appreciate the song because everybody, anytime you bring up the Holocaust in any of these discussions, people automatically roll their eyes or whatever. And yeah. it's like, oh, that's right, because human beings are just awesome now. We would never do something like this ever again. Like, I appreciate songs like this because it's like... It's it's not just looking back in the past, but I mean it starts out an Aryan rebirth. Right. Like you know we've got a guy in our village. I'm not going to name him because I want to I want to protect him so he doesn't get banned in social media. But the guy's basically he's a Nazi. Mm -hmm. He's one of the most racist, evil. You know I told him last night at the fireside. Like of all the people in the village, I pray for that dude the most. Wow. Because he's 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 basically a Nazi. Yeah. You know. Um, <clears throat> So the ideology is still around today, and oh yeah, and, sure. and, and it, it comes out in different forms. Yeah. And people think that just yeah. because you're not a racist, that you're not a Nazi. You know, and I was talking when we shot that video about you know Bo, and he was talking about Down syndrome, and I was talking about how Iceland has eliminated Down yeah. syndrome by selectively killing these kids in utero. Mm -hmm. And somebody goes, "Oh, you're all SJW. What's wrong with with eliminating Down syndrome?" Well, eliminating Down syndrome would be awesome. If we had a cure for Down syndrome, that would be great. Um, but eliminating people with Down syndrome is a problem. Right. Right? So, like, polio was bad, and yeah, we found a polio so, vaccine. Your nuances. Yeah, you're right. <coughs> polio right. was bad, and we found a polio vaccine. Right. Right? Right. right. Uh, and that's obviously better than... It's better than eliminating no everybody that has polio. Yeah. God almighty. Um, but, and he was just like, well, what's wrong with... And he, I could tell in the way that this brother was asking the question, he was black. He really didn't know what was wrong with Iceland systemically eliminating Down syndrome kids from their from their populace. He, he didn't get it. And it's like, okay, well, this is eugenics. This is Nazi right. ideology. Yep. This is not. I'm not. Yep. This is not appeal to emotion. It's just factual. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is this is pretty terrible stuff. Um, but, it, you know, if you recast that idea, right, like, let's just do a thought experiment. What if you could find out, and, you know, I'm sensitive to this. Well, I mean, of, you're dwindling people's worth down to their, their health. Well, yeah. And if you do that, then there's so many people but that what, should be up for grabs. But what if you could find out how, and, you know, I'm sensitive to this because we just shot a video on the straight pride parade foolishness. What if you could find out in the womb that your child was going to be gay? And then... Oh, everybody we have decided people that would do it. Everybody decided to just systemically abort all the gay kids. Would you be okay with that? Would that be all right? Of course not. But because these kids are disabled, it's okay to eliminate them yeah. from society. And um, Ooh, people, was... people don't realize how scary these implications mm -hmm. are. And then you recast it, and it's like, whoa, wait a second here. Yeah. Um, and you know it, it's 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 the same thing. A person's born with Down syndrome, they didn't choose that. A person's born gay, they didn't choose that. Mm -hmm. I mean, isn't that the narrative that we're all saying? So what's the difference? Well, well, one person would be homophobic if they did that. I agree, and they'd be evil for doing that. But on the other hand, it's completely fine to say, "Oh, Down syndrome, you're dead. Not a problem." No, we still have this stuff. You know, me and Kellandros at some point are gonna have a discussion either publicly or privately about original sin. I just don't understand how anybody can deny it. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> um, feeding this curse, I don't really know how this works. Got a mind so tactical, they're on top of the chain, they're all insane, mechanical rain, they're causing pain. This guy's got some bars, by the way. Bars. I know, I know. 
he had a good flow with it and everything. I'd like to yeah. see that live yeah. if, if they could pull that off. Yeah, I was like, oh, because it was like another angle, another layer to it. I really liked the part where he was saying, you'll find me dead underwater, breathing in silence, just stay away because death remains. He must be certain. That whole part right there, the way that he sang it and the way that it sounded and the words, the way that the words flowed and... That's an interesting line. You must be searching for something in Unit 731. Very, very interesting line. Why would... Why well, on the one hand, something would be him, right? But on the other hand, it's like, what are you looking for? What are you trying to accomplish yeah. by recreating this master race? What is it... Because my theory is ultimately, like, all this yeah, race... what would it do? Racism and all this stuff mm. is just, a matter, just, a, just another form of self-worship. So, you, you know, it's just about getting everybody to look like you because then it makes you the pinnacle of, of, of humanity. It just, like, I've never seen a black racist who thought that white people were superior. You see what I'm saying? It's always black folks who think black folks are superior or white. So it just so happens that the race that you're a part of is the master race. Except for that one girl that it's just, just pissed a, that guy's shoe. It's just a form of self-worship. So, That's interesting. Yeah, and what are they? What are you hoping to accomplish? Because if you eliminate, let's say you eliminate all the sick people, <clears throat> all the mentally ill people, um, all the different like, um, the right. different disorder, all the different things, you eliminate all of that. Then what? What do you really have? You still have people that are bad. Like you right. know what I'm saying? Like it's not like, it's not like you'd have a perfect world. Right. Well, yeah, and that's that, and that's the thing. It's like, what are you looking for? Because yeah. it, you know we're watching a particular show and it's a post-apocalyptic show and there's one set of bad guys mm -hmm. and they're they're basically like a supernatural group of bad guys mm -hmm. and the whole show is about surviving this 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 dystopian sure. world oh. so it's about so oh, it's, it's about surviving yeah, against this this, this supernatural enemy in yeah. this dystopian world yeah but then as the seasons go on it, it, it goes back to human beings going at each other again. And then the yeah. the oh, yeah. the characters, which the show is named after, end up just being in the backdrop and it is back again human yep. beings going after each other. Yep. So it's like, let's say that you cleared out every, you know, inferior race that you want to make an enemy of. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to happen if you created your Aryan uh, utopia? Or your Pan-African utopia. Right. How the hell did slaves get over here? <laughs> it was black people selling other black people. So it's like, yeah. people don't understand that it's human nature is the problem. It's not, oh, it's, you know, mm -hmm. the Aryans are saying, oh, it's these, you know, subhumans that are screwing mm -hmm. with our evolution and blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, dude, like, you got rid of everybody, every Jew, every black on the planet. You're still going to be miserable. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Because human beings are the exactly. problem. What are you looking to exactly. find? <clears throat> I think exactly. that that's a very provocative yeah. line. We have to find, there, there has to be something outside of ourselves that can heal the sickness inside of us. And it's not eliminating other sick people. So docked. <laughs> very, very well. <laughs> very well said. Very well said. Um, and, and of course, it, it's interesting because it's like there's something wrong with the human race. Yep. Somebody has to die in order to purify the human race. Mm -hmm. That's that's Nazism. Mm -hmm. That's militant Pan-Africanism. But it's also Christianity. But it's also Christianity, <laughs> right? It's like some something is wrong with human beings yeah. and somebody has to die right. in order to purify the race. Right. And... Uh, the, all the other terrible, horrifying isms are saying it's those people. Yep. And yep. if we kill those people, then we'll have a pure race. And Christianity says, uh, you are those people. Mm -hmm. And so am I. So one of us has to come down and and live the right way mm -hmm. and then die. And that will purify the race well, it's by crazy. the person voluntarily No, no it's the opposite. Because... <laughs> The other ones, you take the impure, the busted up, and you kill them right. to make the pure race. But in right. this one, you take the pure one, you kill the pure one, Sadaf. and he purifies the impure ones. Right. So it's right. the opposite. Right. So, um, Christianity is the solution for all this. Everybody should be a Christian. Right. <laughs> no, I'm just... But at, but at the same time, it's like, yo, this is crazy. Yeah. Like, this is what happens, you know? And th this is why we have things like war crimes. So, I really, really appreciate... The imagery and the and the um, even the idea, mm -hmm. because 
I think, you know, when he's talking about human corruption and purifying things of that nature, it's like, that's the ultimate question. You know, it doesn't matter. It, it, let's say you disagree with the doctrine of original sin. Fine. It doesn't matter what you say you believe. At the end of the day, you still see the little... When he says the doctrine of original sin, most of you probably know what that means. But he just means that when you're born, you already have sin. Like, you already want to sin. You already want... You know, you don't have to teach your kids to steal Legos from each other or whatever. They just do it. You have to teach your kids not to do those things. Sadat. So right. that's what he means. It's not... Nobody taught you to be bad. You just had it in you. Right. You're, you're born with the inclination toward rebellion. Right. And the only reason that little kids aren't blowing people away is because they don't have access mm. to those things. But but, as they grow and they get access. That's right. <laughs> well, the more strength they get, the more you see. Right. You know, it's stealing Legos, it's pushing somebody, it's punching mm -hmm. somebody, it's... I mean, I've heard of kids mm -hmm. throwing their brothers downstairs and all this oh, stuff, yeah. and little girls trying to kill their sister oh, in the yeah. crib, and yeah. uh, crazy stuff. Yep. But, um... I really appreciate the modern day sort of... I cut you off to explain that. And... That's 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 okay. <clears throat> but anyway, I really appreciate that. The the modern day sort of grappling with... Oh, yeah. The ideologies that we want to believe that we're past when mm -hmm. we're obviously not. Right. What do you give the song? Ten. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, my God. You've been out of the game too long. Is that what happened? <laughs> I don't think so. I really think that this is... Like there are a few, there are a few songs that I listen to offline, and this to me seems like one of them. But sometimes nope. I listen to stuff offline, and I'm like, why did I give this such a high rating? Or sometimes it's the opposite. I'll be like, why did I give this such a low rating? I don't know if I'd give this a ten. I loved it, and but I liked the variation. It starts off with an Aryan rebirth, which is in 2019 an extremely risky thing. <laughs> yeah. The pe people are getting demonetized. I'm, I'll oh, be yeah. surprised if. If I'm surprised that these guys haven't gotten reported to some, there was a guy <laughs> we were listening to Jimmy Dore yesterday with the yeah. freaking. Uh, he was a history. He's a history guy. Yep. So he's showing clip. If you're doing World War II, guess what? You're gonna show clips of Hitler and Nazis. Yeah. They demonetized his channel. It's like wild. It's wild. It is absolutely ridiculous. So I, I get that, that. You get a lot of man points for that. Yeah. You get a lot of man man points for that, in my opinion. Um, but anyway, um, maybe we can do some sort of like win the album type deal with these guys. We'll see, Daniel. Um, okay, so you're. I'm gonna give it a nine point three. Still pretty high. It's still pretty high. I, I'd just like to hear a little bit more of a signature something that makes these guys, you know. A little, little bit more. I mean, how long is the song? Like, you it's know, only three and a half minutes or something like, like that. 25 seconds, a 30 second clip of something a little bit more. <clears throat> you know when we were listening to Gersock? It was great. We were listening to Gersock and they did that like solo, the dueling solo yeah. back and forth thing for, yep. um, I forgot the name of the, 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 uh, Innocent Blood. Mm -hmm. And they were doing, oh, by the way, Pony's doing like a really badass job at, doing channel art for them if you if you need art pony freaking morgan look at this picture y'all pony freaking morgan i mean look at this picture this picture is crazy remember innocent blood i i haven't seen the picture and so when i put it up you oh <gasps> whoa that's what they did for innocent blood pony did that yeah she's a badass she is a badass. Almighty. don't steal that either if you want pony's work uh message me i know how to get to her mm. yep we have we have connection. We have, we have connection. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, I, I would have liked to have seen some some a little bit more variation to mm -hmm. bring it to a ten. So oh, it's gonna be a nine point three for me. Ten for me. Vin out. Sorry out. Gone. I don't really know how this works.